Good morning from our beautiful National Forest. So we pulled into a spot this morning. Martin and uh, Dre already ran up the road to hike a little higher. Eric and Wes head up this hill and I was just kind of getting my pack thrown together. So I'm about to head out of camp. I stripped down the stone glacier to a more minimalistic shed pack. Um, took the bag off it and just have a little fanny pack on it. And then um, just the frame so I can strap sheds to it. It has a meat shelf. So between everything going on there, I should be able to haul a decent amount of sheds if we get into them. It would have been nice to have yesterday. I was packing horns on my shoulder, but and I also come to find out on my way down that bottom, I missed a, two sheds because I had the horns on my right side like this. I was carrying them on my shoulder and there were sheds and I missed them. So Eric got them though, so that's good. We're gonna go till dark. It's morning, putting a full day in and I got my sun shirt on. So I don't get so fried like yesterday, so I look cool. Anyways, let's get up the hill. Man, you guys, I'm many hours of this hike. It's like 2 p.m. Been hiking since about 10 and uh, I went up and down a couple big ridges. Good looking sign, but it seemed like mostly cow sign. And I finally got over here. I'm going up this big old face. This is a huge face. I've been climbing it for like 45 minutes. And I got an elk shed sitting in the middle of the rocks in a weird spot. And it's kind of a crazy looking horn. So I'm gonna hop down there and give you guys a look see. Oh, you can probably see it right there. Kind of a weird spot. Let's go see what it looks like. Pretty steep and a lot of these rolly rocks down through here, but sticking right there. Trying not to eat it. Hard white. What a weird place. Find a shit standing up like that. Man, see how it's glassing from the other side here. <sighs> you think I'd have been able to see that sucker shining? But, I guess not. Kind of a cool shed, though. Look, holy crap, look how long that front is. Stuck clear down in there. I take a couple pictures and I'll pick her up. Look at that floater front. That thing is like 22 inches long. And then the bull just dies on the top. Just a teeny bull, but man, talk about potential. It's like a <laughs> three pound shed, but cool. Throw them on the pack, keep on a going. Heartbreaker. It's a good shed actually. <laughs> Long fronts and heavy little chunk. Where's the rest of you, bro? It's cool, I'll haul it out for poundage anyway. It probably still weighs a few pounds. I was looking behind me because I thought I saw pine sticking up and then I looked down the hill and little baby brownie, right color. It's just like a raghorn. Cool, getting better. That's two I've picked off this little ridge in the last couple hundred yards. One's a little brown, so. Oh yeah, solid base for days. Two and a half pounds, we in the zone now. <laughs> this is what I've been after all day is just a good, Solid shed. I dip down off that little ridge. There's a nice brown right there. Yes, it's not a giant or anything, but man, after the miles today, stoked to get that one. Pretty little bull. It smells like him in here. Man, you can tell like fresh sign and fresh piss. It's just, this is a little zone, I think. Oh, good. Scoop that one up and just keep picking around in this thick stuff. It's so dang thick. Gotta be missing some. Nice. Nice little bowl. Little teeny base. Got decent enough weight to him. Five or six pound horn. Sweet. 
Number four for the day. Let's see if we can rock out a few more. Got thug life, huh? Dang, dude. Better than anything I got. So sad. He's just relaxing, enjoying life. Oh, I guess. Going through. You know, when you get so bored, you start deleting videos off your phone and making them. I feel you, bro. I feel you. Let's see. Turn around. Hey, guys. So, we switched areas. This is day four of this trip. We drove a long ways this morning, and we're now hitting some new stuff. None of us have ever been here before. Just kind of picked a spot that looked productive. And we're checking it out. We dropped clear down off the ridges, down into these bottoms. A lot of really good elk sign. Um, a lot of people track too, but we got the five of us fanned out. Going far, going the whole day. Hopefully we can get into some good looking out stuff, pick up some sheds, and maybe get away from some of this foot traffic. There's been a lot in this area. So that's what we're doing as of right now. End of the day yesterday with four for me. Um, Eric picked up one west picked up nine and uh dreo picked up three martin picked up six maybe so everybody kind of has about the same amount of sheds for the trip so far oh there's a piece of an antler chalker all chewed up see but that's where we're at another full day today and then if we really kill it we might stay in here another day and if not i'll probably bail for home because the nevada opener is coming up and i need to get home for that so Getting some radio updates from the guys. Wes glassed a big elk shed on the other side. He said it looks brown. Eric picked up a coos deer shed, which is cool. And then he found a pretty sweet deadhead. Um, it's a big, like a desert sheep deadhead. I think they're deserts here. I don't know if they have Rockies out in here. Anyway, a big sheep deadhead. And uh, he's trying to get service to see if he can call a warden or see what he has to do to keep it but that's pretty sweet big bucket lister right there but you guys will have to check out the hush video if you want to see footage of that ram maybe if he ends up being able to take it today i'll film it for you guys but sweet i've just been hiking this brushy stuff i've been bumping coos deer i've jumped a handful of them i'd like really like to get a coos deer shed um but there's really good elk sign in here too seems like they kind of hide out in these brushy hills and ridges so little bit of a chance for everything in here and just see what the day brings all right you guys so we're just out here cruising around looking for some sheds and i run into some boys out here What's up? pounding the hills right. crazy. tell them your names my name is kyle from white mountain my name is brandon from san carlos san carlos so these are some arizona boys we just ran into in the middle of nowhere out here so uh, I was going to hide and let him walk by, but I saw he was wearing a mountain ops hat. So I'm like, oh, we'll say what's up to these guys. But they wanted to be in the vlog. You guys want to plug yourselves? You want to tell them your Instagram or anything? Uh, yeah. yeah, Kyle. At Kyle underscore T-S-A-Y, T-S-A-Y. At Steel underscore 102. There you go. Go follow these guys on Instagram. Say what's up. Tell them you saw them in the video. Man, beautiful down in here on this little stream goes up to the other side it's so nice to hike where there's water of course though i'm so smart and i didn't bring my water filter i have water bottles and stuff i can drink if i need them but also i don't know if you guys have ever noticed this the number one place i run into rattlesnakes is in these creek beds so it always sketches me out but i'm hot so i think i might take a little soak here i don't know if i'm gonna strip down or anything but like maybe just Take my boots off and soak for a little bit in there. That looks nice. Nice and cool. All spring runoff. I'm sure it's plenty cold. Cool spot though. It's beautiful. That's one thing. Like I'm not picking up any sheds today, but man, I'm in a gorgeous spot. Man, feels good. It's pretty hot out here, and that felt great. I just dunked my head and my hat and stuff in it. And now I'm ready to go climb some big hills. Hopefully, find some sheds. But if not, whatever. Like, I'm in such a good mood today, I don't even know why. <laughs> it's a happy place, man. This is one of the crazier places I've ever found a shed. Sticking tines down, it's like at least a three or a four year old antler. Um, Yo, I'm Jack, you out there. Eric's trying to interrupt me on the radio right now. Shut up, Eric. Turn you off. Anyway. It has a really good back end, like really tall fit, and the sword looks to be 
big old long. I don't know what that third looks like. It's buried in the dirt there, but it's probably three, maybe a four year old shed, but to be stuck like that, that's pretty cool. Have to get some photos and pick her up. All right, let's see what she is. Oh, that's a good shed. Oh my God, that top end is wicked. That's a, that's a good bull. Like he's not huge on his third, but big, big fifth and big sword. Tons of curve to it and like still really heavy for how old he is. Just a really quality like 350, maybe a little better bull. Score. See, maybe his match is around. This stuff, I can't see why anybody would be hiking it. Like it is the dumbest country. Just rocky and I was just really exploring. Not even really looking like that hard. I wanted to find some coo sheds, so I went for the rough, ugly stuff. And never know what you'll turn up. That's a big white. Well, I looked up and I saw the backbone. I was like, man, that's got to be a coos deer. You know, it's pretty small. And I looked up the, in in the wash, and I saw the rib cage, and I was like, oh man, that's got to be a coos deer buck. Maybe I'll find a dead buck, deadhead. I was like, that's weird. The rib cage goes right into some weird looking tree roots that are coming out from the wash. I was like, that's a freaking sheep when I got a little closer. I thought these were roots, like all this was buried and it just looked like a like a tree root. <laughs> and I walked up and I was like, dude, that's a that's a pretty big sheep. Like, I knew <laughs> I, it was covered. You can see where it was covered uh -huh. over there and a lot over here. And I couldn't, I didn't dare move it. That's a big sheep. I was like, I knew he was old because he's all br like brushed and banged up. But Look, that thing is insane. So I'm no sheep expert. Me neither, but he's big. I can tell he's big. That is so massive. <laughs> <They're> so <big. laughs> they weigh so much, dude. That's a big sheep. Oh my goodness. <laughs> EC. Dang, dude. That is such a tank, bro. That's cool, huh? That's bad. I That's don't know, That's the most man. massive sheep I think I've ever seen. Really? That bad, Dude, oh, that is bad know. to the bone. Look how, like, busted up. Yeah, just, just a fighter. fighter. See, celebrating this Pop. big old sheep dead head. What you eating there, pal? I keep looking back and I'm like, what? Oh, it's yeah. so rad. I've never had a sheep in my truck. Well, uh, Ben made some bacon. So we had leftover bacon grease. I fried three hot dogs in bacon grease, toasted a bagel in bacon grease with jalapenos. I don't know, what would you call that? Uh, I don't know. Freaking a million dollar idea is what I <laughs> Uh, dude. A hot... It could be like a food truck, you know? Down you would buy that off a food hell, truck. It'd be like Three fried hot dogs. Beans, right? And put some peanut butter on it. All right, all right. Just make a million bucks every summer. <laughs> What's up? Look at you. Atta boy, Jag. Not bad. Nice. One, two, three. Brownies. Yeah, boy. Sure. Nice boy. work. Yeah, how about you guys? Is that a brown set? Yeah. Atta boy. Oh, dang, you got him, huh? Yeah, I got him. Dang, that's a big one. Not a bad little finish to the trip. There they are. So the picture pile's being broken down. Everything's getting loaded up. A new picture pile, right? Picture pile, yeah. You always <laughs> got to get the truck bed. Yeah, it's Birds classic. Out. Plus my big old sheep. Your what? You found a sheep? Oh, this thing. Too. Oh, is that becoming the focus of the entire trip? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Is this get considered it a drop tine? It's a drop beam, I'd say. It's a tine and it drops. I'd count it. Why not, dude? So he's a double dropper then. That's cool. Yeah, we're just here to have fun, count things, you know. All right, so <clears throat> I'm closing this video out, but. You guys go follow my boy rising shed right there that's wes he'll be in the description of this video martin chagnovich right there he has a youtube channel as well martin chag he'll be linked eric you're not going to want to miss the story of this deadhead pickup so check it out it'll be on the hush channel and my buddy one happy horn hunter dreo over there too so go follow everybody and uh thank you guys for following along on this trip I need to thank some people who bought apparel so i'm going to tack that on at the end of this video so that right there that's my boy ben sandal in that truck and uh, we're headed to Ben's house. I'm gonna pick up my coos deer. Ben surprised me and had this shoulder mount done on this 
for me. I've never seen it yet, and uh, I've never had a shoulder mount, so I'm kind of stoked about it. So we're going to Ben's new house. They just finished construction on, and we're gonna go see this deer and pick it up. I'm stoked. Dude, is he gonna, now your your wall's gonna be out of balance. Yeah, no. What are we gonna do? Out. There he is. You need to put that one up there. That one looks sweet up there. Dude, those packs are so rad. Look how pretty he is, the detail on the face. This is my Arizona Coos last year. The video of this hunt is on my YouTube channel and I hit this buck in the neck. You can't even see the taxidermist did a really good job. Sewing his cape up, he's gonna look good. First shoulder mount I've ever had. Super pretty. So here's the people I need to think about apparel. Andy Mika, thank you Andy. Travis Prather, thanks buddy, I appreciate it. Uh, Brad Binkley, thank you Brad. Chris Franklin and Isaac Miner, thank you guys very much. Man, Kyle Glover and Nicholas Strand. Tony R Warpness, thank you guys very much. Uh, Lance Price, Ron Fugate. Antonio Fierro, thank you guys. April Grimes, thank you, really good size order. Um, Alex, Alex Gawk, oh man, there's always one, right, that I can't do. There's probably a lot that I can't do. Alex Gotchpin, um, thank you, Alex. Rob Chalinski, coolest name ever, thanks, Rob. Jace Wyatt, appreciate it, brother. Uh, Daniel Borer, thank you. Andy Venturino, thank you, Andy. And today, about an hour ago, good old Weston Cleveland came through. Good buddy Weston, helped him haul an elk one time up out of a deep hole, but... You guys, we had some really good orders. I mean, Lance Price, $70 order. Thank you so much, you guys. Um, I really, really appreciate the support. Um, so many good size orders this week. And, and thank you, guys. That means a lot to me, and it gives me a little bit of breathing room this time of year. So appreciate you guys buying apparel. Appreciate you subscribing to the channel and watching the videos. The Nevada Shed Opener is up next. I hope you guys are excited about it, as I am. Thanks for watching this video, guys, and we'll catch you on the next one.